everybody? It is currently mid-November here in Eastern Ontario. Typically that would mean the ground would be under perhaps one, two feet of snow, but that hasn't been the case thus far. So that was a pleasant surprise. About the past month or so, I've done a couple things to prepare my garden beds for next spring so that when I uncover them next spring and start planting my new vegetable plants that they'll be able to get off to a very quick start and hopefully be able to start producing mid-June. So the first step in preparing my vegetable garden to basically go to bed for the winter is by completely clearing them of all the dead plant matter that were, was in there. Good boy. He did it. So after clearing out all the plant matter from the garden, my next step was to basically take a whole bunch of kitchen waste that we had been collecting in a bin in our backyard and cover it, uh, cover the garden with a thin layer of that. So some of it was already decomposed because that is a compost bin and some of it wasn't. There wasn't a huge amount just because the black bin is relatively small compared to the surface area of the top of my garden. Uh, so I tried my best to spray, spread it out into an even layer. In addition to the kitchen waste, I also had, for instance, my jack-o'-lanterns from uh, Halloween. I had two of them and I was able to just chop them up with a spade as well as some of the guts that were in there and just spread it out evenly on my garden. Which brings me to the shredding. So we have a lawnmower that doubles as a mulcher, meaning that I can, we can either run the lawnmower over the lawn and cut the grass, or we can run the lawnmower over a layer of leaves, uh, plant matter, what have you, and have that shredded. So that's what I did with both the spent plants from my garden and the leaves that had fallen onto the lawn from the numerous trees that are around my lawn. We have such a large lawn, both front and back, that I was able to completely cover the garden with mulched leaves. So here's the finished product. As you can see, I've uh, filled pretty much the whole garden all the way up to the top of the rocks with these mulched leaves. And underneath the blanket of leaves are pieces of kitchen waste. I had quite a lot of fun smashing our Halloween pumpkins, actually. Through the winter and into the spring, those will decompose, especially with the help of the moisture that comes from the snow. Um, those will decompose and they'll basically become a compost pile on top of my garden. When I'm ready to prepare my garden to put plants in it, if it's not completely decomposed, we'll just take a few loads of topsoil, cover what I put there, then what we'll basically have is a garden where the compost is composting throughout the season and that's releasing a steady stream of nutrients for any plants that I'll plant there. So that was my front garden and uh, then my back garden needed a little attention as well. It's not quite the same. Uh, since my front garden has the rocks all around it, I was able to fill it with leaves. My back garden doesn't have that case. So if I had tried to cover it with leaves, uh, the leaves would have just probably blown away and wouldn't have really done much good. So what I did was I focused on key areas of my back garden and one is my asparagus bed. I have about five asparagus crowns that I've planted in a portion of my garden. I planted those earlier this summer. I had actually looked up on the internet how to properly take care of asparagus in the fall. And so what it had told me was that I should be cutting the asparagus to about two inches above the soil, putting some finished compost 
onto it and then covering it with mulched leaves. I did have finished compost, um, actually from the uh, composting 101 video I did earlier. I covered my asparagus with that finished compost and then I covered it with a layer of mulched leaves. And here's my asparagus bed. Lastly, a part of the uh, back garden that I still have yet to do something with is my garlic. So earlier this fall, my mom uh, planted some music garlic cloves in here and you can see actually that they've already come up. We've had a very mild fall with uh, quite a few sunny warm days so the garlic ended up sprouting. I'm probably going to want to cover it with some mulched leaves, maybe with some finished compost as well, and uh, hopefully that will protect the sprouts from the uh, frost and the snow so that they'll continue to grow in the springtime. I'm hoping that by doing that I'll be able to keep the heat in and, and keep my garlic from freezing since quite a few garlic cloves sprouted and if they stay alive uh, through the winter and spring I should have probably about eight heads of garlic next summer which would be really exciting. That was a really quick video just wanted to give an update about where my garden is in terms of preparation for the winter. I am expecting to at least do one more video and that video Video will be basically a summary of all the things I felt didn't go as well this season and how I plan to improve for next season. So I uh, definitely hope you look forward to that video and as always if you like this video please like, subscribe and share with any friends you think might appreciate this gardening series. Happy gardening!